Let's take a look at how a C-section is done. Before surgery, the mother is given an IV line, a flexible tube inserted into her hand or arm to give fluids, medications, and anesthesia. A urinary catheter is inserted into the bladder to drain urine and monitor kidney function during and after surgery. In the operation field, a drape like this is placed between the patient and the surgical area. In some types of anesthesia, the patient does not lose consciousness but does not feel pain either. In such cases, this drape is used so that the mother does not see the surgery. Usually, two types of anesthesia are given. One is general anesthesia. When this anesthesia is administered, the mother becomes completely unconscious. Regional anesthesia is used to numb only certain parts of the body. During this time, the mother remains conscious, but since the lower part of the body is numb, she does not feel pain. Regional anesthesia is injected into the spinal canal at the back. After administering anesthesia, the surgeon makes a skin incision on the lower abdomen. Depending on the situation, this cut can be horizontal or vertical. Most commonly, a horizontal incision is made just above the pubic bone. Some people refer to this as the bikini cut. After the skin incision, the fat and fascia are cut, the muscle fibers are separated, and then the peritoneal layer is opened. To keep the urinary bladder safe, it is carefully pushed to the side. After making an incision in the uterus, the amniotic sac is opened and the baby is gently brought out. Then, the umbilical cord is cut. After that, for the first observation, the baby is wrapped in a warm towel. The placenta is carefully removed. After that, the surgical team stitches each layer that was cut. The total time taken to perform a C-section surgery is between 15 to 30 minutes. After delivery, the mother stays in the hospital for four to seven days to recover. For faster recovery after surgery, Walking slowly is beneficial. It helps reduce gas pain and prevents blood clots. Usually, the surgical wounds heal within eight to 12 days. Over time, the scar from the incision becomes thinner and blends with the skin tone.